Finally tonight, billboards are popping up all over the country with an eye-catching message. We sent Dean Reynolds to get the story behind the signs. The direct message that graces a Chicago interstate could well reflect the viewpoint of a lot of Americans. In this case, it's a group of Muslim Americans. Our neighbors don't realize that Muslims are absolutely opposed to ISIS. ISIS actually kills more Muslims than anybody else. Imam Malik Mujahid of Chicago is the force behind the blunt billboards, though he's quick to credit a group of young Muslims who came up with the exact expression. Pretty direct language. Young people are sick and tired of sophisticated language. So they came up with the language. He told us the attacks in Europe and here in this country moved his community to be more active in their opposition to radicals. There's another blaring billboard in Phoenix, and he says he has requests for more from 15 cities. All are funded by local Muslim communities. ISIS and Islamophobes are the two sides of the same coin, which is hurting Islam as well as humanity. They're increasing the fear hate and anger in America, which is dividing a beautiful nation. With ISIS implicated or accused in acts of terror across the West and with attempts to recruit Western young people to the cause and the caliphate, the imam says American Muslims are frustrated and in some cases frightened. But history, he says, holds out hope. KKK was defeated by good Christians. ISIS need to be defeated by good Muslims. A war of words instead of weapons. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.